Okay, today we're going to be talking about index numbers and particularly the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, and also the Case-Shiller Index. We're also going to use percents and throw in just a little bit of ex exponential algebra. So the first question involves the CPI. On Thursday of last week there was a news release of inflation and we, um, the new number released was 215.351 for the Consumer Price Index for July of 2009. And for reference, I've pulled up two other older numbers. July 2008 was 219.964. So we can see that in July of 2009, the number has actually come down. So it's rare um, in my lifetime to see negative inflation or deflation. And for comparison, in July of 2000, the index was 172.8. So we're going to use these index numbers to answer three questions. The inflation percentage over the last year. The inflation percent over the last eight years. So how much more expensive are things today than they were eight years? And in this case, it'll be negative or deflation. And if a car costs twenty-five thousand in July of two thousand, uh, how how much should it cost today? How much should that car cost in today's dollars? So my advice is to now hit pause and work these three problems if you know how to do them, and then check your answer versus my solution after uh, after you've worked them yourself. Okay. So assuming you hit pause and you've worked them, we'll go ahead and work them together now. Inflation percentage over the last year. Well, we need to change. July of 09 is 215.351. We're comparing to July of 08, 219.964. So we're first going to calculate 215.351, the new number, minus 219.964, and get the actual amount of change. And then we're going to divide this by one of the two numbers that we're considering, July of 09 and July of 08. We change from 08 209. So the base of our change is the original number, July of 08, and so we're going to put the 219.964. Many times when you have a problem that involves time and a percent change, the first time in a kind of a standard question, generally the first time will be your base. You can ask a question where that wouldn't be the case, but it's more common than not that the earliest time, which in this case is July of 2008, will be the base of our change. So to calculate on the calculator, I'll need a percent, a parenthesis, 215.351 minus 219.964 in the parenthesis and divide by 219.964. I get an answer of negative 0.0209. Okay, so this is a decimal, and as a percent, we would move the decimal two spots for negative 2.0209. 0.1% if we're going to round to the tenths place. And if we were rounding out all the way to the 9, of course with the 7, that should be rounded up, which would make this 2.1 as well. So negative 2.1% is the inflation over the last year. So things have gotten cheaper, 2.1% cheaper. Now let's look at the last eight years. Of course the calculation is basically the same. We're merely using one different number. So it's going to be the 215.351 minus, and now our, our, our original number is 172.8, changing from that time. And hit enter, since I didn't use parentheses, I get a change of 42.551, divided by, and the base is the earliest number in time again, so 172.8. When I hit enter, I'm given an answer of 0.246, and, round, and turning that into a percent, 24.6%. And now finally, in application, using these with, with the price, let's say a car costs $25,000 in July of 2000. How much would that same car cost today, assuming that car followed inflation exactly? Well, we have $25,000, and that is the price in dollars, $2,000. We're going to do this as a unit conversion. Although the only units are dollars, they're different types of dollars. We have dollars at one time, year 2000, and we have dollars in today's dollars. So, and this is not $2,000, maybe we'll just put year 2000 here. So I want to get rid of dollars year 2000, and I want to get dollars, and, and our date would be July of 09, our most recent number. So the July of 09 number, what, we're, what these numbers, these next numbers basically do is the equivalent $215.35 today would be the equivalent of $172 in 2000. So we put the index where, where we've labeled it, and this way we're canceling year 2000 dollars. So year 2000 was 172.8, and July of 2009, 215.351.
and the arithmetic that's left is 25,000 times 215.351 divided by 172.8. We get that the car should cost today's dollars 31,000. 156 and 11 cents. Now individual items may, may or may not follow the CPI exactly. They may be higher or lower, but that's just an estimate of what the effect of inflation is on money over that period of time.